Shadow Magetta Gamers! It's another beautiful day in Minecraft. Just kidding. We don't play games on this channel. Let's get down to business. So what we're gonna try to do today is to make an enchanted book from Minecraft in real life. Hmm. Thank you to the person in the comments who suggested this project because it's genius. Why haven't I thought of this before? I don't know, but we are making it. But we do have a problem because what the heck is this? I don't know. We got like 16 pixels or whatever to go off. So there's a lot of room for interpretation. So the deal is I do know how to make books, but how do we make them enchanted? I'm thinking maybe LEDs? You know I love them darn LEDs. Oh, I'm so excited. Holy frick, let's just go. Woo! Giggity god damn, this is a lot of paper. But uh, if you look at this boy, it's a thick boy. So uh, we need a lot of paper. What I'm gonna do for now is I'm just gonna put this in the book press for a couple of hours at least. And I'll show you why in just a second. Oh yeah. As you can see, the folds are just a lot flatter. So this is just gonna make it a lot easier for me to cut of the top part of every single page. The books in Minecraft kind of seems like they're close to a square format and they also seem to have a bit of a rounded corner. It's hard to tell from these pixels, but I'm gonna go with a rounded corner because I think it will be interesting. This might be too much paper, but we'll see. I'm gonna cut them first and then we can kind of decide on oh, the size. Don't ruin everything. Okay, let's do this. Good morning gamers! I sorted all these pages into stacks of five and one of those stacks is called a signature which I'm gonna sew together into one block today. I think I'm actually gonna use all this paper because it looks really really good. Next I'm gonna use waxed linen thread to sew them together but before I can sew it I need some holes in this baby. I'm gonna mark the holes on the back, punch all the holes and then sew this block together. Look who's back, guys. The chair. The chair is back on the table. I guess it can't stand there, though. Yeah, um, this was pretty much the only place I could put the chair. Preferably, it would be a bit lower because right now I'm like eye line height with the place I'm gonna sew. Well, preferably, I would have a proper sewing frame. But, uh, I mean, there's a certain charm to this chair. Let's get sewing. I'm wondering, and you're probably also wondering, how the heck I'm gonna make these corners rounded. I think the best way for me to do that is just to chop off 
a straight line and then use sandpaper to kind of round it off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut the edge like a nice curve on all these layers. This is Clyde. He's a big and cuddly boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a straight edge and then hopefully we can use sandpaper to make all the edges nice and smooth. I know the text block isn't perfect, but you know what? I'm gonna say good enough this time and I'm actually really happy about how it turned out. It looks really good. Next, we're gonna make the head and tail bands. I wanna go with something that's gonna match the ribbon around the cover. I'm gonna go with some less saturated tones than these intense ones, because it's just, it's too much. So I'm gonna grab two of these colors and we're gonna sit back there on the chair there to make these headbands. This is literally just what I wanted. The format and the size and just everything looks so good. <laughs> the next step is to make the end sheets and usually end sheets are just thick colored paper at each end of the text block. I already have this nice gray cardstock that I'm gonna use. This is 150 GSM, I think. It just means it's a bit on the thicker side. All things in this episode seem to be thick. Ah, what a lovely day to be inside. These two are looking great. Are you becoming friends? I just cleaned up the edges a little bit to get the fraying away with a knife. But now it just remains to see if these actually fit nicely on the book. Looks about the right size. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh freaking yes! These might be the best covers I've ever cut. They're perfect. Perfect! That's the word. I got a couple of things laid out here to help me attach these covers to the book. First of all, I got my cat, of course, who's gonna help me out. I'm gonna use the parchment paper for making the glue not stick to the book itself, but only to the covers. I'm gonna use the drill to make two holes in the covers to thread these jute cords through. And then these cardboard sheets are gonna be placed in between the cover and the book to soak up the moisture from the glue. Because, you know, if paper gets wet, it gets all wavy and weird and I don't want that to happen to my book. So these are just there as a barrier between uh, the cover and the book. beautiful day. I added this linen cloth to the spine yesterday, just glued it on there just to make the spine a bit more even and also to strengthen it. Let's take off this parchment paper. Oh yeah, that's nice and flat. Not even a little bit of warping on the pages. I love it so much. It's leather time! This is one millimeter thick goatskin leather, vegetable tan. I've worked with this before, I think it's very nice. Let's get to work.
Now the next thing we're gonna do is to glue the rest of the leather to the cover and I'm just gonna use a skiving knife to thin out the edges a little bit so they're easier to fold in. But let's go! a look at the book itself it seems like there's supposed to be some text both at the top and the bottom of the book we're gonna take that and try to interpret it into some cool badass front cover I made this document that is exactly the same size as the book cover usually there's some kind of author at the bottom so let's just let's just put by nerd forge at the bottom now for the title of the book I could just do something really silly, but let's just let's just do something vanilla, like a giant book of enchantments, maybe. So I'm just gonna export that to a JPEG and print that out. Nice. Book, template, carving tools. Let's get this carving started. I'm trying to bring the element of the enchantment table into the book itself. If you see the enchantment table from above, it's kind of what it looks like. tired today. Today is gonna be different because if we look at the book again you can see like the golden square thing at the front kind of seems like it's supposed to be a book clasp and I have absolutely zero experience with book clasps. I've never seen one, never touched one. Uh, yeah, I've seen it on the internet. But nonetheless, I'm gonna attempt to make a book clasp. I am thinking to make something like this. Just two triangles, one that is gonna be fastened on the front of the cover and one on the side. If I manage to pull this off, I'm, I'm gonna be super happy and proud. <laughs> so let's just, let's just hope I make something usable. It just remains to see if it will stay on when I put it on the book. It slides in really nicely. Oh yeah, that's going nowhere. It's really simple, but I really like it. Yes! <laughs> it looks so good and it works so well. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> All right, I just have to brush these up a bit because I need to make the edges smooth and also just uh, sand down the surface to make them just nice and shiny. Holy frick. 
it looks like 10 times better after sanding it. Next I'm gonna apply some gold leaf to the carvings I did before. I've had a few comments panicking before about me wasting a lot of the gold leaf. It's not real gold. I'm not that rich. Let's finish up this book so we can get to the enchanting. Good morning guys, I just wanted to share with you this beautiful rainy day. So yeah, we're gonna go down into the basement to start working on enchanting this book. Now, my search for the secret to enchanting has been a long one. I have been to the library of Herobrine and searched through every single book for the recipe of enchanting a book. I have found nothing, but my friends, I think I have finally come up with a solution on how to properly enchant this book. And this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna make a box. We're gonna make half the box out of wood, half the box out of acrylic. The ingredients for the enchanting are two main components, an Arduino and some LEDs. <laughs> While the box is drawing both the wood filler and the wood glue, I'm gonna go and begin with the acrylic glass that is going to cover the front. Hansi tested out this earlier where you heat up a piece of the acrylic and bend it like this. And I just think it looks absolutely amazing. So I really want to try that and hopefully I can pull it off. Time to see if it fits. Yes. yes. I'm a bit scared. I hope it fits. If this doesn't fit, we wasted a whole sheet of acrylic. Yeah, and a ton of time. Come on. It slides in. Yes! Mm. Yeah. Yes! It was all Hans's idea, this bending ordeal. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna let that dry for a couple of hours, at least. Can I have it? Quiet. We're just gonna use some finishing oil on this thing. So let's go! basically have our box ready. The only thing it's really missing are the LEDs at the top here and some fabric here. But for the LEDs we're gonna get some help from... Hansi! Hey guys, I'm back with the LEDs as usual. Today we're gonna make the enchantment effect on top and for that we're gonna use an Arduino, some addressable LED strips, and just a power socket and some wires. Super simple, but I think it's gonna be super cool as well. Let's just get started and jump straight into it.
So we put the wires through the holes and we hooked up the Arduino and everything is just hanging around. But before we connect everything permanently, I just want to test that this LED strip works. Let me just upload a simple piece of test code to see if we can get any light in this LED strip. And if we do, we move on to the big stuff. Done uploading. Ah! Nothing's happening. Okay, that's not awesome. We'll be back in a short moment. And now it seems to work. So now we can hook up the rest of the LEDs and then we can start making some animations. We uploaded the code. Super simple code, by the way. I'll leave it up on GitHub. But now everything from my side is mostly done. I just want to show you how the lights turned out. So you can see this super simple fading effect scrolling across the entire box, similar to the enchanted effect on the book on Minecraft. I think my job here is done. Thank you. Good luck with the rest. Thank you. Yeah, I have some work to do. So we got the fabric laid down now. There's only one more touch I really want to add to this box to tie it all together. And that is this sign that we got made locally. So this book is gonna have a pretty good enchantment on it. Time to peel up the plastic. I have to join for the best part. Yes. Oh. So uh, I want to take the outside. <laughs> you can't call dibs. You can have the inside. It feels so nice! Oh my god! <laughs> it's just acrylic. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we made this! We're gonna take a look at the final result in just a second, but first I just have a little announcement to make, and that is that the Mecha Bunny shirt will only be available in October, after that it won't be available anymore, so if you want a shirt like this, or a poster or something like that, I will leave a link on the screen and in the description. I want to thank our patrons and YouTube members for supporting us, because you guys make it possible for us to make these kind of videos, and make projects, and continue to do what we do. And it's just, it's mind-blowing, really. I know, every YouTuber keeps saying it, but it's just a friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment about what you liked or didn't like about the video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.